and I hope you all enjoyed the video. It may or may not be kind of an awkward cutoff. Um, there was very limited editing. I guess that's important to say. I should have said that at the intro. There was very limited editing on these videos. So anyway, thank you all for putting up with me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. It's in an awkward position, though. Where am I going? All right, well, I, um... Uh, quest for the Star Forge. I've discovered the last of the maps, and now I have the hyperspace coordinates that lead you to the Star Forge. It's a final competition with Malik. You only hope you aren't too late for Bastila's sake, and the sake of the entire galaxy. Well, hopefully, I can talk with Joey and Juhani. Although, I don't know. Juhani's might be done. Joey, for sure, and Candorous. Potentially Karth and Juhani. I regret nothing. Uh, I think I want to go this way. Yeah. What a what a neat trick. What a what a neat trick. And you can just keep going. Like. I guess I can just go straight back to the Evan Hawk. But if I do that, I don't get to twirl. In we go! Mm -mm -mm. Pen ultimate. It's the seat, it's the t moment of time before the end. Yeah, I have nearly yeah, finished what do you the game. Want? Uh. Well, apparently can't I can't talk to Candorus anymore. I may have I may have lost my chance to finish Candorus' as a story. Man, that sucks. I like Candorus too. His was long though. Like you had to talk to him a lot. Got something on your mind, do you? So when did you go to Keshik? Oh, that was not until many years later to tell the truth. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. Oh, I think this is the... Oh, it's not the end! Okay, apparently, Lemon Z, it's not the end. The, the, the final battle with Malik is, in fact, not the end of the game. Um... Uh, let's see. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. We're adventuring again, I take it? Nothing so extravagant. I merely traveled from place to place. I don't even think I knew what I was searching for. It wasn't as if my travels were pleasant either. There were plenty of folks who distrusted the Jedi after the war. Or worse. Worse? What could be worse? Um... With good reason, I imagine. I suppose so. Not everyone would understand why the Jedi would suddenly start killing themselves and tearing up half the galaxy, would they? If people weren't treating me with suspicion, they were looking at me oh. with greed. I don't know how many thought they could make use of me for their own ends. I got so sick of the treachery and deceit. I left the civilized parts of the galaxy and headed instead for the uncivilized parts. So that's when you went to Kashyyyk. Actually, I was on my way somewhere else when I crashed landed on Kashyyyk. The ship I was using was a rust bucket. You survived a crash landing on Kashyyyk? I'd taken some damage passing through an unexpected asteroid. Field, unexpected? But Those I wasn't things are mapped. Without some systems, I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially considering I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands. But I lived. Yeah, I lived. So you crashed and stayed. Sure, why not? Seemed like an interesting enough place to spend a couple of decades exploring. And the Wookies didn't mind your presence. Oh, they did at first. Oh, yes. I can't say I was overly pleased to encounter a group of indigenous giant Whoa, carpets what? either. I can assure you of that. Uh, you, you could have ruled them. Yeah, right. There's still some left. Yeah. Well, it's not me. Yeah, there's still like the sequel, but for the game itself, like I, I feel like I should be closish to the end. You seem to have fairly peaceful terms with them. Well, that was after two decades of helping them. 
They certainly didn't trust me at first. You helped them? When I could, I would assist a few young ones who would get lost in the Shadowlands or attacked unexpectedly by the wildlife. I must say, for a while there, the Wookiees actually thought I was some kind of benevolent forest <laughs> god. Amusing, really. I set them straight eventually. eventually. Why didn't you stop the slavery of the Wookiees? I mean, that's a big question. You can't just do that by yourself. Couldn't decide between a bit or some, so we have a some. Nice. We have a some left. At first, when the slavers took to hunting down lone Wookiees in the fringes of the Shadowlands, I did my best to divert them. Later, when Shundar made his deal, I didn't see any point. I wasn't here to save them from their own sad I mean, he's got a point. Tomorrow. Like, what are you gonna do when, like, the Wookiees, like, the Wookiee leadership itself is, like, on the side of the slavers, you know? Thank you, I learned nothing. I think we're about 75% of the way through the game, Lemon Z. Potentially a little more. 75, 80%. That's my guess. It sounds like you enjoy being a god. Nonsense. I had no idea that's what they were thinking for a long time. Oh. I just thought they were being friendly neighbors, leaving fruit and that's such for cute. me. Later, when I started to understand some of their grunting, I realized they would say prayers to the hairless one before descending ah. into the forest. <laughs> Hairless yeah. one. I used to have plenty of hair, I tell you. <clears throat> well, at any rate, it took a few bruises, but I set the record straight. <laughs> a few bruises. I traveled to Rookwaro and met with the chieftain in front of everyone. Freyr swatted at me just to see if I was real or not. I was real, and while it was a light swat, Wookiees are terribly strong. I was knocked out cold oh, for day. a day. The Wookiees all thought it was quite funny. How many years? It's been about three years, Lemon Z. Three years. <laughs> Wasn't at all a bit primitive for you, huh? Not really. Kashik is a place you can feel very small in. It felt good to devote my time to helping people and living simply. And you didn't receive any news from the outside? What can I say? I did it all for the Wookiees. The Wookiees? The Wookiees. Well, okay, maybe I needed some time on a quiet and remote planet, but... If you ever need a friend, an incredibly strong hairball isn't a bad call. You sound quite fond of them. I suppose I am in a way, despite the smell. For a race of gardeners, they've developed quite interestingly. Gardeners? You remember the alien computer, correct? Kashik was meant to be an agricultural planet. The Wookiees were made for a reason, or at least Interesting. That's what I'm but I'm an old man who's had a long time to the develop that opinion, so don't argue with me. At any rate, we should be moving along, don't you think? If you sat around this long in the Shadowlands, attack would eat you. Thank you, Jolie. You're the greatest. You can ask more about- Oh my freaking gosh. Like, what in tarnation? Kandra just needs more time, apparently. Uh, <laughs> this in this game came out before Live Biscuit, but apparently not. <laughs> I know. In another year, yeah, you're right. In another year, we have one more year to play this game. At some point, something's gonna come up, and I'm gonna start playing like Final Fantasy, and it's gonna take me two years to get back into this. Or she can finish it by playing the remastered version. Oh my, you're right. <laughs> oh, jeez. I started it way back when, and now... And now I can, uh... Now I'll be able to finish it on the remaster. How nice. <laughs> Rain in the <laughs> Been waiting for so long. I know, me and Final Fantasy, I do gotta finish Breath of the Wild. For, that's another game that I've been playing for like a year that I need to finish. I'm close, I'm close-ish to finishing that one, at least the main story. You have anything to say? Yes, what's up? Uh, bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. Alright, galaxy map. Time to go somewhere. Star Forge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Off we go! Woohoo! Oh no. We're down to 720. Hold on. Hold on to your frames!
No, it would be hilarious to restart this game on the remastered version before finishing it. Before finishing the old one. Yeah, I've I've actually bought Final Fantasy twelve. Ah! <laughs> Bash was being tortured. <laughs> you are strong, child. You're not much older than she is. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark. I'll side. never fall. <laughs> That's like. You think torture will That is the like worst you are a scream I've ever heard. Torture. No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your eyes. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. <gasps> the cape! Never. The cape go whoosh! <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Why? Become my apprentice, and all its power. He has can like be some yours. massive pecs. <laughs> <laughs> like he has, he is not ashamed of his body. He like he wears those skin tight suits with flair. A plus man titties. Yep. Cheat day is every day for them. <laughs> uh, oh, dang. I wonder why Malak hasn't uh, taken control of whatever Starforge weapon that we found together as me and Revan, or Re Revan and Malak. Or maybe he is. That's what he's doing right now. Come on. The Star Forge. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've never seen anything like it. It looks like I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. You famous last words. Famous last words. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone oh to get no, on those not me. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main. Fleet. I mean, they probably already reported the position. Also, please don't make me shoot things. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Jennifer Ailes boys act. Listen, that was one of the most pathetic screams of torture I've ever heard. Ah! I suck at these parts. I can't look down. That's not fair. Takes extreme concentration. Oh, well, okay, the hitboxes are weird. Can I be done? Oh my gosh, you're right. Malik is like Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Oh, we've got problems. We've flown to some kind of Disruptor with that field. Job. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough. <laughs> I don't know why, but without dramatic music, that didn't feel very dramatic. It was just kind of funny. Extreme concentration or blind luck? Either one. Either one. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, pretty! 
We got to land our pseudo millennium falcon in this perfect little bay. This was probably the same gentle landing that we normally get. Thanks, Karth. Bane visited this planet. Oh, ho, ho. much later in the Talk future. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What? What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night tour. That was the most gentle landing I've ever seen. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebon Hawk airborne again. Uh, Riz, the Gizka problem? What? No! I like the Gizka! During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many no. ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. The Cathar. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? The Star Forge! We, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. I wonder why the Sith ships aren't affected by the disruptor field. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field. He looks field like a boy scout. Sith will slaughter them. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some whoop, kind of whoop, ancient temple. My favorite! Um... Nobody's freaking about Bastila. We're just trying to freaking survive moment to moment at this point. Uh, we need to find some stabilizers for the ship. We're obviously going to do that. But maybe we can find them in the freaking temple. Or if we just destroy the disruptor field. Oh no, we do need to repair the ship, and then we also need to do the disruptor. Field. Let's go check it out. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her so too. So somebody else I says it. Hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. Uh, even together they are no match for me. Bastila would never turn to the dark side. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud. She is proud. As you once were, Revan. Don't call me Revan! I'm not Revan anymore. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Star Forge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship. There's one the right next if to we're us. Lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. So do I. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, 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 Quest for the Star Forge. We fell victim to a disruptor field. Whoa, no. Trapped on a nameless world. Whoa, no. Oh, so all the other stuff that I hadn't done up until now that was, um, like extra quests, they're all gone. And I just have companion stuff now. Trapped on a nameless world. Whoa. Bastia, Karth, Kandaris, Johanny, Jolie. Okay. All right. Anybody got any thoughts? Yes. What's in your mind? Do you anything about this place? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. Dang it. I was hoping I would get something. You got it. Whoops. Yes, what's in oh, jeez. You got it. Um. Anybody? Anybody oh. got anything to say? Uh, could you make me a grenade? <laughs> Thank you. I received a grenade. Are the Gizka gone? <laughs> hey, where are you going? What? We can't leave the planet yet. Remember those wrecked ships we saw? Uh, we need to I, salvage what? some new stabilizers or the Ebon Hawk won't even be able to get off the I wasn't trying to... I was just walking around. I didn't realize I was walking towards the cockpit. Calm your titties. Yeah, what do you want? Calm your inferior to Malik titties. Oh, maybe we can ask about Kendris' thoughts now. 
I'm not happy with Ooh, the way okay. my life has turned. I'm not the Mandalore I once was. I don't even think I'm the Merc I was when I joined you. I think... I think I need something Whoa. more than killing and fighting in my life. I need a purpose or something like that. Mm, what will you do? The way the Mandalorians... We fought. It holds no appeal for me. To rape and ravage worlds for the thrill of battle. And he's old now. It gets old. Very old. Honor in battle. Cheating death. Comrades in arms. The code of the Mandalore. I think I'm something different now. Maybe more. Maybe this more. actually seems really big, honestly. Like, uh, like he's like evolving as a person. Like he's it's and he's old, but he's like changing his ways. You know, like, and it's like something that's so ingrained in him. And I wonder if more Mandalorians, if they reach old age, I don't know if they generally do or not, or if they kind of die young. But like, I wonder if more would think like him. You are a Mandalorian now. No. A time oh dang! Of the has passed. I don't think the galaxy oh, dang. Them anymore. Maybe in the future, but not now. Once my time with you is done, once you have moved on to greater things, I'll find my own way once again. Maybe the Mandalorian clans will be reborn again. Maybe even under the Republic or the Sith. But dreaming about the future is stupid right now. We should get down to our business and finish it. If we survive all this, maybe we could talk about it then. Is there something else you want to know? We should get married. Bye. Your choice. I'm. I know. I was gonna say. I was gonna say this, that 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 seemed to like like be an interesting like hint for the future. Even though I don't think the Mandalorian like TV show was like ever it was like even in a glimmer of possibility at this point in time. But it's like, oh yes, indeed, the universe does want more Mandalorians. <laughs> I can't wait for that to come back. I'm so excited. What happened to the wee things? I don't know. I can't find them. Why? I've had them on my ship this whole time. And then and then only now at the end they want to take away my little pets? My little friends? Oh, our hyperdrive is very broken. Hyperdrive is non-functional. Critical components have been damaged. No, oh, the wee little things. <laughs> the little things are gone. What is to become of us? Okay, so also, I think I finished. Candris. Oh, well, it's still saying that, but we at least got to talk to him about it. Uh, let's talk to Jolie and... Uh, got something on your mind, do you? Yeah, so if you like cashing so much, why did you want to leave? Are we back to that you again? You got nothing better to do right now. Um, Am I really all that interesting to you? Hmm, <laughs> way for me to approach this. Uh, perhaps it's time for a little story. Uh, couldn't you just answer the question for once? You just keep quiet. <laughs> I've had to put up with all your busybody questions. <laughs> well, now you'll listen to a story. Dad. You'll listen to a story. <laughs> oh, yes, the story. <laughs> you almost made me forget about it. Nice try, but I'm not that old just yet. Now then, a young man sees a terribly venomous snake in his small village. Nervous. He watches the snake carefully until it leaves. The young man follows the snake into the forest. He clears the branches out of its path and helps it over obstacles. He even works to keep it fed. This is a very long story. <laughs> Many nights pass. Still, the young man continues to follow the snake. He even follows it into the sands of the great desert. In the desert, the snake eventually grows hungry. It turns and bites the young man poison quickly working its way into his system. Finally, curious, the snake looks at the boy as he lays dying and asks, why were you foolish enough to follow me all the way out into the desert? The boy looks back and replies, did I follow you? I thought I was leading you away from everyone else. And then he died. Oh, ho, ho. A bit kind of somewhat heavy-handed metaphor, but it works. Well, I think in the crash landing, Either the froggies died, 
or they decided to ski daddle. What was said in game was that our crash landing maybe got rid of the Gizka because they didn't like how rough it was, and so they just ski daddled. To be fair, this is probably a nice island for them to hang out on. If there's, maybe I'll go outside and find them. Maybe I'll go outside and find them. Am I supposed to be the snake? Well, now that's what I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so that's yeah. Okay, okay. So he, yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I didn't just follow you. I was trying to like freaking change your path. But in the end, like, do I bite him or not? Ho ho ho. Mm, I'm not a snake, I can assure you that. That's a long way to come just to risk dying. I've come a long way as it is. And I'm going to die anyway, so that doesn't bother me in the least. I've told you before that you have a destiny before you. This does not mean, however, that your future is already written. They are not the same thing. You have the choice of which direction you take your destiny in. More than engine sucking Andor, sir. <laughs> but even he had a choice. So far, you've chosen to take the lighter path. Can you stay that course, even through the challenges ahead? We'll have to wait and see. I'm not here to judge you or tell you which path to take. I'm here ready to offer you my help, should you ask for it. I do that because I think it's important. More important than remaining in my home and pretending the galaxy doesn't exist. That's why I'm here. Thank you, Jolie. I'm glad you came. <laughs> I'm rather glad I came too, really. You're a fine young man. Oh, lass. thanks! I hope... I hope things turn out well. Me too. I hope now I don't have to die. Chatted enough for one lifetime. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I hope I don't have to die for my sins. Maybe I've introduced a species to an environment they should not be in. Wait, now I have to go kill the Gizka because the ecological niche is going to be, like, destroyed if I keep them out there. Ah! They're going to take over the island. Uh... Oh! <gasps> All right, so I actually did finish uh, Jolie's. So I still technically have something for Candorous and Johanny. Bachelor, obviously, and Karth, I guess. Um, but Missions is done. Uh, Big Z, little robot friend, never had anything. HK is good. All right, all right, stuff's happening, stuff's going. It's froggy destiny and you shouldn't interfere. <gasps> Maybe you're right. Ooh, this is di- oh, okay. Hello? Wait, are those those first ones? I think those are like those first ones creatures. Right? Like, or, or am I just imagining things? I'm gonna choke you. <laughs> oh dang, he saved. Alas, I did not save. Oh boy. Uh, hang on, wait, 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 wait. I should use lightning when everyone's grouped together. I can't see anything, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, we're wrecking these guys. Are they like throwing bombs at us or what? This is what I need. What is going on? Oh, hey, those are. I saw a Giska! I saw a Giska! They're alive! Uh. Well, they attacked me first. How did you get here? <coughs> Froggy happy noises. Boop, boop. Uh, why would they have attacked you? Oh, my. Ugh. Oh, nice, the Mandalorians. There's Mandalorians out here? Of course there are, they're everywhere. Why do these aliens take so long to talk? It's ridiculous. There are Mandalorians here? 
Kuya mi just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra. Slimo patona. It's a observational bias. Cha wana bota ayu ta honga cha kanki dora. Kachi kuita hodonga. Topa da bon gwalia ganda. Oh yeah, I've experienced that. Muksha papa bola wana chitnei. Uh, where are they? Oh, of course they are. But our temple was to the west, wasn't it? Or the east? It was to the east. Why don't you... You could stay in our ship if you want. Oh. I thought I was being really dumb. And nice. Why don't you try to get to one of the other islands? Ah, <laughs> that's optimistic. <laughs> or they were eaten on the way. Giska! My little space froggies. You will tell the Republic of those of us stranded here. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Welcome back also to generic intros for the next several videos, which is a nice improvement from the last few that haven't had any intros. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're all staying safe. And things are getting, getting kind of crazy right now. So I hope everyone's doing well and as best as we can. So uh, anyway, we're going to hop right into the video and I will be with you in a second. 